Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the digestive system. We all know that we need to eat food to survive, but what happens to that big busted burger or that sweet apple when we swallow them? To answer that, we'll have to take a journey to our digestive system. There are a lot of different organs in our body that work together or a system in order to accomplish a certain task so that we can live happily. One of these is the digestive system. Is it important? Yes, of course. It provides us with our main source of energy so that we can run like the wind or that we can swim in the ocean and even just thinking consumes energy. So our body needs food to provide it with energy vitamins and minerals however in order to use food we must first break it down into substances that the different organs and cells in our body can use this is the job of our digestive system the digestive system consists of different organs that act in stages to digest our food each stage is important and prepares the food for the next stage Everything starts in our mouth when food goes in and ends in our anus. That means poof from our butt. But we don't know what's inside so let's dive in. So these are the parts of our digestive system. Chewing is the first stage of the digestive system. When you chew your food, it breaks up big pieces into little pieces that are easier to digest and swallow. Also, your saliva is more than just water it helps break down starchy foods like potatoes and bread while you chew fun fact your mouth controls the temperature of the food till it's just right for your body okay next is the swallowing swallowing may seem like a simple process to us because it's a normal thing to do when we eat but food doesn't just fall down our throats into our stomach First, our tongue helps to push food into the back of our throat. Then there are special throat muscles that force the food down into a long tube that leads to our stomach, called the esophagus, or you could call it the food highway. The food doesn't just fall down the pipe. Muscles push the food along until it gets to our stomach. At the same time, all this is going on. A flap blocks off our windpipe making sure food doesn't go the wrong way we call this going down the wrong pipe and it can make us choke this flop is called epiglottis and fortunately for us it works automatically the next stage is the stomach aside from telling us that we are hungry the stomach plays another role food hangs out in the stomach for around four hours and it is filled with lots of types of acids. While the food sits there, these natural acids go to work on it, breaking down things like proteins and carbohydrates that our bodies can use for muscles and energy. The stomach kills a lot of bad bacteria as well, so we don't get sick. Another interesting fact, did you know that your stomach acids can dissolve a metal? How crazy is that? The gallbladder liver and pancreas are also part of the digestive system they lie just next to the esophagus and the stomach they do a lot to help the digestive system the liver provides bile that is stored in the gallbladder which helps break up fat into smaller bits the pancreas provides additional enzymes to help digest all sorts of food the liver also processes the digested food from your blood before it gets sent to different places in your body to be used. The main job of the small intestine is to absorb the minerals and nutrients from food. In fact, 90% of food absorption takes place there. There are two parts of the small intestine. The first part works with juices from the liver and pancreas to continue to break down our food. The second part is where the food gets absorbed from the intestine and into our body through the blood. The last stage is the large intestine. This is the final destination of your food for digestion. Any food that the body doesn't need or cannot use 
are sent to the large intestine and later leaves the body as waste. Also in the large intestine, any water used in digestion is reabsorbed, which causes the leftovers to harden. That means your poop is hard. But if there's too much water, then we know it's gonna be a messy one. Lastly, the rectum is where feces or the solid bodily waste are stored until they leave the digestive system through the anus as a bowel movement. So learners, this is the digestive system. Now we know what happens to our pizza when we eat them. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.